All right, so basically, you know, we know the story about the high priest, Michesla Dick. Also, it's important to note, remember Samson, when he, he let a tramp confuse him and convince him to cut his hair, right? And then what happened? And then what happened? He lost his strength. And then God granted him strength and he brought the scum down. Snapped. Let me tell you how it is, man. What did Mechizedek bring Abraham? He brought him bread and wine. Now, who invaded the Delta region? The Philistines with the sea people. Now, think about it. Think about it. That's why the Jews went to Egypt. They had the same enemies, the Philistines, as the Egyptians. Now, Ramses III also defeated the sea people. Okay? Remember, Tutmosis III conquers the Canaanite Empire. Ramses III defeats the sea people. 300 years before that, the sea people are hiding in their fucking caves like bitches, scared of Tutmosis III. Tutmosis III. Now, think about it. Think about it. Think about it. What was Abraham negotiating with God? He was negotiating for the lives of of the people of Sodom and Gomorrah. A bunch of fucking queers. Think about it. Think about it. Why did God destroy the Tower of Babel? Because they were trying to get into heaven from behind by erecting a huge phallic symbol. He said, uh uh, no faggot shit. Boom, scattered them out. Then, in Sodom and Gomorrah, when Abraham's pleading with them and the angels go and visit Lot, what happens? The faggots. The queers, the adulterers, the sexually immoral gather outside of his house. Why? Because they're a bunch of liquors. That's fucking why. And I ain't talking boost this time. Understand what happened to the Philistines and how people absorb the cultures of the people around them and what is the most prevalent dominant culture, if not the Egyptian culture of Ra that ruled over the Mediterranean for thousands of years, 3,000 plus menses. Zosher. All the way on up through the Hiskos. All the way on up to the 18th dynasty, where you have Akhenaten and Tutmosis and Amenhotep. All the way up to the 19th, Ramses II. All the way up, past the Libyans, 25th dynasty, motherfuckers. My favorite. Past all the rest of the woods. Why is it my favorite? Because the woods know that it's so black that no wood in his right mind from here to motherfucking... The UK, fuck. They wouldn't admit anything. But one thing they will admit is the 25th dynasty is black. Now, understand why Abraham was negotiating for the lives of our brothers who were living with Lot. He knew in his heart. Remember, his wife, while he was gone, Sarah, thought he was going to die. And she was wrong, because women do not know God. That is the same conclusion the apostles came to. The apostle Paul, when he wrote letters to Corinthians and Timothy. Think about it. Ephesians, think about it. Like I'm some fucking sexist pig for telling you how it is. There are a bunch of woods, a bunch of bearded fucking feminists, a bunch of queers. On one hand. And then the whore that rides the beast on the other. And they're fighting over who's in charge. While the real descendant of Judah is telling you they're all wrong and I'm right. Don't make me scatter, you scum. Because I stand with God. I am not just the messenger, but the rod. And don't fucking tease the Lord. Don't tempt the Lord thy God, and don't fuck with Chukwa and Mecca, you fucking bootlickers. <sighs> now, who teamed up with Abraham? Abraham was born in fucking Ur, in Chaldea, Babylon. He was a Semitic man from Babylon. He took three fucking wives, Sarah, Hagar, think about it. All the way to motherfucking Keturah. Think about it. Who were his kids? Who were his kids? Zimran, Joshua, Midian, Ishbak, Shua. 
who was the children of Sarah, Isaac, Rebecca. Okay? Now, who are the children of Hagar, Ishmael? What happened when Sarah's cocky ass said, you are not white enough, just like Miriam said to the wife of Moses. He said, you're a Cushite. You're an Ethiopian. You're the descendant. You're related to the Nigerians. We do not like you because they're a bunch of liquors. That's why. That's why. Think about it. Do the math. Who's related to who? Bila, Zippa. That's who I descend from. Okay? That's why we were able to throw little jo Joseph in a hole. You know what I'm saying? Little Joseph. Little Joseph. They threw him in a hole. And I said, no, no, no. I said, you don't throw little Joseph in a hole. Okay? Because I was the greatest. And I still am. Judah straight up said to him, he said, look, Simeon, look. Levi, you don't know what you're talking about. You're a bunch of liquors. And they said, no, we're corrupt boot liquors. We want to sell your fucking soul. So we can get rich on earth because we're boot liquors. And that's what boot liquors do. Understand how they think. Understand how a technicote or a car, or something that your parents give to the child who's doing the right thing can make the bootlickers conspire together against him and have one of his brothers say, I don't want to be around when this takes place. And have one of his brothers say, I don't want to take part in this, so I'm not going to be there when you guys stab him in the back. That's the same thing that happened to me. So you think I don't understand history? <laughs> history repeats itself, and it has in the 30 years I've been on this planet as well. You better believe that. You're a bunch of fools, a bunch of bootlickers. I'm the one who's been sitting there quiet all this fucking time, figuring out what the hell's going on. And in the past couple years, I decided to start telling you idiots where you've been going wrong. Because you're damn right sometimes the watchers get fed up with fucking watching pick up the sword of God and swoop down on you fucking snakes. Now understand, you brood of fucking vipers. Understand that there's always a traitor and there's always a whore who's got it wrong. Always. Oh, oh, oh but, 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 isn't Sarah the, the, the grandmother of Jacob? Do I look like I give a fucking shit? Okay? The point is that even in the great tribe of the Semites and in the family of Abraham and Isaac and Jacob, even in their family, there was the bootlickers, the traitors, people who had noble blood, but their weak heart wasn't pounding with the rhythm of God like mine is. Boom, ba boom, ba boom. It wasn't pounding with the rhythm of God. It wasn't beating to God's fucking drum. It was beating to the flute of Satan. Why the harp and the trumpet are being used by those who roll with God. So do not mistake music for being of the devil. Music is only of the devil when the devils play it. The symbol of Satan is only of Satan when the devil uses it. That's why someone like me, I can use the cross. Because I am from God, and when I use it, it means God. But when the devil uses it, it means the devil faction. Understand this. The faction of thought that created the neo-Nazis, and the different faction of thought that created the Eastern philosophy that brought you the swastika as well. Understand the different factions, and who's are the good guy, and who's the scumbag. Who's the Afro-Asiatic and who's the Eurocentric? Understand this, my brothers. Whose name is Tuku with dark skin and whose name is fucking Seti with light skin invading the Niger Delta because he wants to usurp the sacred ground of Abraham because they want a piece of what Abraham touched because whatever he touched would flourish and be blessed and whatever Seti touched would be destroyed. And thus was true in the Egyptian pantheon, the Greek, the Babylonian, the Roman as well. Thank you.